Welcome back to another Rio Styles review. Sorry for the long delay, but we're back with another one. So today we're going to be looking at the Viper VX buckle-up system. So as you can see, I've got everything pre-rigged. Um, I'm not going to bother with the unboxing. If you've seen my last buckle-up plate car review, then check that out. This is the Gen 2 that we're looking at today, and I've got it in the VCAM black. So as some of you know, this is a replica plate car of the LBX Armatus 2 plate car. Um, so it, it isn't obviously a unique design by Viper, but it is nice nonetheless. So let's walk through my setup. Um, right now I have this set up for a pistol. So if you see here, I've got a dangler pouch. I've got a plate carrier in multicam black. Everything is in multicam black or VCAM black. And um, we've got the VX micro chest rig on the front here buckled in. I've just got a run Viper grenade pouch here. And we've also got the VX buckle up uh, backpack on there as well. So going through the price of this, uh, you're looking at 90 pounds for the plate carrier, you're looking at 31 for the chest rig, you're looking at 11 pounds 50 for the screw pouch and 40 pounds for the backpack. This is all from UK FOB. Now if you want any of this that you see today, everything is available for the UK FOB website, just head over there, use the discount code RS5 for 5% off everything you see in store. So, first of all, what I want to talk about is the, the overall quality of this. Um, I've not had the, t the chance to field it yet. Obviously, we're currently in the middle of lockdown, so things are a little bit difficult. And honestly, I don't feel comfortable going in the field just yet. So, right now, it's just wearing around the house like a weirdo. <laughs> um, but overall, the quality feels exactly the same as the last buckle-up plate car, if anyone has used it or, or had a chance to play around with it. Um, obviously, it's for airsoft. I can't really comment on how overall it will hold up in real environments and I, I very much doubt anyone would use this for kind of real environments maybe for for training with real estate weapons and things like out there but that's about the height of it and um, overall the size now if you have a look at the size it does look very small it's about the same size as a JPC in my opinion and um, it is fully adjustable from the back so what you can do is just adjust it exactly how you like it and the buckle system obviously maintains this the same size that you have it set up for so you don't have to worry about the JPC if you're folding over each time and then you've done it too tight and then you have to take off the front flap and bring everything back around and loosen it and things like that there. It's not as hard as that. Everything is just from the back. So you do it one time, a little bit of messing around, and then the buckles obviously just go in the same place each time and unless you're putting on weight with the lockdown, then everything should just stay exactly the same. Um, now I'm a size medium and this is the perfect size for me. Um, for larger men, it may not be so ideal. It is quite a small play car, and to be honest, with you, I don't see many you know larger men running around with um, JPCs and things like that there on. So I would only assume that maybe they just don't fit as well. But then again, I, I just don't have the experience. Um, I'm a size medium, and this does fit me perfectly. So looking at customization now, um, much like any plate carrier available on the market, it is fully customizable. As you can see, I've just paired everything up with the Viper VX stuff because I know it works well. And um, so I currently have the the buckle up chest rig on here which is perfect for me because I can swap out the inserts right now I have, I'm running some uh, pistol inserts so I've got three sets of pistol inserts and I've removed this front panel just so as I can utilize the front with some more inserts as well and um, so I've got three pistol inserts and then two SMG inserts here and I can use them for like you know grenades and things like that there like the Quake or my uh, TRMR there but overall I can rig this up any way I want it it comes with you can get M4 inserts you can get AK inserts for 7.62 style magazines pistol SMG you name it you can get it and there are also other things like zip panels and things like out there which you can get which are available on the market obviously not made by Viper but they will obviously be fully customizable with this because of the velcro system that it has so the buckle up system does make it far more convenient to swap out different rigs so if you do plan on using it with different weapon systems like I said like 7.62 uh, M4s, SMGs, whatever it may be and um, I've currently got this silver pistol I can actually just completely remove this very simply and just change it over for a different chest rig it makes things far more easier than having to remove different molly panels and it, it just makes things more complicated really so this is an extremely easy to use system if you are looking to use it with multiple different weapons. My main gripe with the overall customization though is on the back. So I don't know if you can see, but on the back there is an uneven amount of molly rows. So what that basically means is that it works well with the Viper VX backpack which is great, but for other backpacks which are designed to have, you know, to be set with an even amount of rows in between, so they're, they're evenly spaced rather than unevenly spaced if that makes sense. 
Um, so things like that there will be extremely difficult to use. It, it may stretch the molly out to the sides or on the, in the inside rather than run straight down the way it should do. So the only solution I can see that would be if you would buy a molly zipper system which you can install into the back and install a molly zip panel. Um, so it will have certain molly rows in the middle of it but it's mainly attached by the zips on the side and that, that's really the only solution that I could see to it. Otherwise you may have difficulty installing things. If you just kind of maybe add an M4 pouch here and there, something like that, it will be totally fine. Um, as long as the, the unevenness of it doesn't annoy you, then it's perfectly fine. But that's my one main gripe with this particular plate carrier. So the main question now is, is this worth it? So it isn't cheap. Um, we're only at 90 pounds of the plate carrier alone. Um, it, it is kind of in the mid-range, I would consider. If you were to pay an extra 60 pounds, you could get likes of a warrior assault system plate carrier but that's on more of the high end in my opinion. It's going towards the Gucci gear side of things. And um, so it, you're paying almost double the amount. But as I say, this is a mid range item I would consider. So if this suits your budget and it's what you want, do you like the look of it? Do you like the customizability? This is perfect. At the end of the day, this is airsoft. So if you want to run cheap, mid range, really Gucci gear that costs like 200 pounds for a chest rig and that type of thing, it's entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want. At the end of the day, it won't make you a better player. It will certainly make things easier for you to rig and give you better accessibility to your, your weapons and magazines and things like that there, but you can do that with pretty much anything. You can get a 30 pounds plate carrier that costs next to nothing, use it, it'll work the exact same as this would. But if you are looking for something more in that mid-range which looks a bit fancier, you know, this is definitely the option for you. 90 pounds for the plate carrier itself, like I said, is expensive. You can use that discount code I, I advise you of at the start and that will give you a little bit of money off it. might help ease this thing to the bank account, but Overall, I would definitely buy this. This is a personal favourite play car. I did request that um, Paul from UK Fob send me it in the, the VCAM black like you're seeing here. It's kind of hard to see because everything's kind of covered. It just looks like a lot of black. <laughs> but it's very nice to look at in person if you can't see it well on the camera. I would recommend it. I can't wait to get this thing out in the field to actually use it. You can see I've, I've got, got it set up for a pistol only. So hopefully we'll get some gameplay soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you on the next one.